check one, check two, check three. Welcome to Fun on the Network, and today we're gonna talk about three mysterious and also murders that happened in Japan. In September 29 of the year 2000, at around 1 p.m., a census worker was gathering information in an apartment building in Tokyo, and he ran to the main office to inform them of a terrible smell coming from one of their rooms. The main office proceeded to send a clerk to the room to check on the apartment. The clerk found the door unlocked and inside was the body of a woman who lived there. She was a manga artist who was 28 years old named Yoko Yoshida. She lived alone and her body was found facing the ceiling in her bed, wearing only a shirt. When the autopsy was performed, it was determined that Yoshida had been strangled to death and she had passed away 10 days prior to her body being discovered. Her room showed no signs of a struggle or theft. In her possession, they also found 3 million yen and a receipt for a convenience store dated September 18th inside her purse. Police believe that Yoshida must have known the killer because there was no sign of a break-in and because she was a relatively known manga artist, so some say she was killed by a crazy fan. And more to it is because ever since she graduated high school, she was an active member of the manga community. So far, police haven't been able to find any suspects or eyewitnesses to this crime. In June 24, 2013, in front of an apartment complex in Narashino, a maintenance employee found the body of a middle-aged woman laying hidden in a bush with her belongings scattered around her. Based on her ID, her name was Kaori Hijama, a resident of the apartment complex. She was seen the day before in the morning when she attended a community event, but never reported to work at night. According to the autopsy, Hijama had been strangled and she had bruising in her upper body. She was found with her feet sticking out of the bush almost like she was dragged to that location from a different place. And based on the crime scene, the way the aggressor acted towards her, it was way too excessive for a simple robbery gone wrong. But it was also very messy for it to have been something that was planned, which is why police have had a hard time to determine the motive. A reward of 3 million yen was offered for any information leading up to an arrest. But so far, no luck and the killer remains free. In the morning of April 28, 1995, at around 2.30 a.m., a house in the city of Kurashiki was burned. The firefighters were able to pull two bodies from the first floor belonging to Haruhiku Tsunami, who was 70 years old, and his wife Midori, who was 67. But shockingly, they did not die because of the fire. They had been decapitated. They also found that Haruhiku had a knife inserted in his stomach and Midori had been stabbed in the chest. It was established that they had died between 5 p.m. and 9 p.m. and whoever killed them spent a couple of hours in their home, more than likely thinking about how to get rid of the evidence before setting the house on fire. And it worked because police couldn't find any evidence since the house had completely burned down. But it is said that the couple must have known the killer and that it could be a family member or a close friend. There were many questions about this case, like for example, why decapitate the couple? And since the deaths happened between 5 and 9 p.m., what was the killer doing until 2.30 a.m.? Was he looking for something or was this just a pleasure kill? Up to today, this still remains a mystery. Thank you ladies and gents for being awesome and staying to the end. Remember to like and subscribe and until next time, that's a wrap.